Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. All right, let's get this brush metal going on. So I've already loaded my objects, switched into the shading tab, applied a principled shader and enabled viewport shading. A couple of changes I'm just going to make to the principled shader first of all, and that is the metallic is going all the way up to one. Specular tint is coming up to 0.5, roughness down to 0.25, anisotropic is going up to 1, and the rotation for that is 0.345, and you can already see things going on here. Sheen is coming up to 1, and everything else is staying the same. Next up, I'm adding a color ramp. So press Shift A and search for a color ramp. That's going to get plugged into the base color. I'm then going to move the black to 0.25 and the white to 0.75. The black I'm going to change by increasing the value to 0 0.05, so it's kind of that darkish gray. Changing the blend mode to ease. And then in between that and the principal shader, I'm going to add a mix RGB. So this color ramp will go into color one. Then I'm going to change this color to a hue of 0.1 saturation of 0.75 and value of 1. So we've got kind of an, a nice gold color going on there. Leaving it set to mix but changing the factor to 0.85 so I get more of that gold color coming through. Next up I'm adding a noise texture. That Factor is going to get plugged into the factor of the color ramp. Scale is set to 5, detail 15, roughness 0.85 and distortion 0.1. I'm going to add uh, another noise texture here with a scale of 0.1. Detail of 15, roughness of 0.1, and distortion of 0. I'm going to apply a texture coordinate and mapping node to that first noise texture and change the texture coordinate to object. I'm then going to get another mix RGB shader and plop that in between the noise texture and the mapping node. And then in color 2, I'm going to take the factor from the second noise texture and plop that in there. I'm going to change the mixing mode to multiply. I also need to bring um, a connector from the texture coordinate object into the vector of the second noise texture. Now I'd also like to add a bump node for a little bit more depth in the texture. That'll get plugged into the normal of the principal shader. I'm going to take the factor from the noise texture, the first noise texture, and plug that into the height. Now that's way too much. 
So we're going to change that to 0 0.035. And that gives us kind of a rough metal feel. Now on the mapping node, I'm going to change the X scale to 100, the Y scale to 0.1 and leave the Z at 1. And what this does is it stretches out that texture um, so they get more streaks rather than bumps. Okay, and that's about it. I'm going to send it to render. I am using the Cycles render engine and I've got my sampling set to 1024 samples and quite low light passes because there's not really much going on in terms of transparency. So we'll send that to render. Okay, and there we have our brushed metal effect. So you can see how the light plays with that texture. And also you've then got the sort of striations and the variations in tone and color. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you'll find it useful. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for notifications of new videos. I'm currently posting new materials daily, so should be something there for you to watch. In the meantime, thanks for being here and thanks for supporting this channel. Thank <music> you.